In this video, let us understand another project, Police Crime Record System. So it's a web application project demo. We are using ASP.NET C Sharp language with backend as SQL Server in this project. So after watching this project, you can write this project in this technology, or still you can able to write it in Java JSP, PHP, or Python. So if you have any project requirement, you can contact us. Now let's understand the project details. So what are the things you should cover? So as the name indicates is a crime, so a crime record. So generally it's for the police department. So each station, so if you take the police station, So they want to centralize all the records in the main station or record center. So if some cases registered in the station, so this is the case. So once it's registered in this station, so it naturally will go to the record main center. This is the main center. Or what is called the main record center. Okay, so it will be stored over there. So therefore, it is a crime record. This project is a crime record to manage all the crime records. Same way, this is the station one. So if you have station two, so there again case will be registered here. So again the case will be transferred to, from this station to the central. So we have a complete control on the cases and what is happening in the each station. So apart from this, so in order to make it as a complete project, so here we need to provide admin section and then police, station police and in this there are two types, one is writer, so who register the case, so other one is the station police, so who can view the data. For example, ins inspector, inspector has to view the data. Now it will have three modules. So one is admin module, what all the basic entries has to be created can be created here. Station writer, so he can register the case here and all the criminal details, all these will be entered by him and the police station. Now here the other person should not get into the site, they should not access it. Or even the writer shouldn't access the site anywhere else. Okay, he's supposed to do it in his office itself. So in order to control this. So we can allocate the MAC ID of the system, MAC ID of the system. So therefore, so whichever the system is allocated, system allocated. So only in that system, you can able to access that one. So apart from this, any other system, you can't able to log in or you can't able to enter the data. Same thing is applicable for the station also. So for the data, they can only access from the registered system or the particular system. So therefore, we are will learn like how to read the MAC ID and then how to check whether the user is logging to the particular system or not. That is also one more important object of the this project. So therefore, this is a totally different type of project. So you can always choose for your uh, academic purpose. So this video basically for students who are doing the projects for academic purpose and people would like to learn experience. Okay, so you want to gain an experience. So because you know like in IT experience is very very important so how to get the experience so if you have a system so install the software so here you record visual studio via software then start working on it so therefore you don't require any other thing so start working then complete the project so here we'll show the complete details like how what are the things are there so once you complete this you can see that you get a one project experience same way you can just try other some pro watch some other videos and then complete the project. So therefore the number of days you work, number of projects you complete, so therefore the experience will be increases. This experience will help you to get the good job. So therefore, so you want a better job. So always keep try, keep learn, keep improve yourself. Okay. So now let's look at the modules. What are the modules in this particular project? So here it will have three modules. One is the admin module. The next one is the writer module. The next one is the police module. So writer as we discussed already to write the case and then police to view that one. So what are the entries are done that you can view. 
so admin to create the basic entries so here are the admin options so admin can create the designations and the corresponding list you can able to view so you can create the police details and the corresponding list that here you can create both the people like you no know, police inspector as well as the writer details so for both can able to log in and they can do their work and this is the allocate mac id so therefore we should read the mac id of the system and then we need to allocate that id to the that corresponding user so therefore they can able to log into that particular system and this is the corresponding list so this is a more technical kind of stuff so therefore you need to understand how to read the mac id that will explain you once this demo is over next one is the writer module in this you can write the case types case details so you can register the case and based on the case you can write the charge sheet and then you can write the criminal details so these are the four forms they can enter the data then there is a police module in this they can able to view what are the writer enter the data so the police like no police inspector can able to view all this data case details you can view charge sheet you can able to view criminal details also you can able to view so these are the three main details the modules and these are the options therefore it's a totally a kind of different project than the regular management so particularly you covering the uh, department police department in future you want to work in any of these kind of companies i uh, would do projects for the police department so therefore that will help you right so understand the concept then we need to write the project so here we'll show the demo like how the whole project works based on that you have to make a note on it and then you have to try in a different language or in the same language so if you're not yet subscribed please subscribe to our channel and also if you have for some time so then go to iblis tutorials in order to view all the videos in iblis tutorials right click on iblis tutorials and then open in a new tab then click on videos so then you can see that you can able to view all our videos so we have like you know how to make synapses dft ai diagram then how to write a web design then how to make c sharp project how to make vb.net project PHP project like that. So we have around 500 project videos. So therefore, when you have free time, just go through them. So then you'll understand how the each project works based on that. So after watching three, four videos, you can also come up with your own idea. So you can also make different projects, or you can club the common features and you can make a bigger project. So a lot of options are very much open for you. So therefore, watch videos and learn, and then learn and get an experience and get a good job. Okay. Now I'll show you the project here how the whole project works so i already opened the project here is a crime record and uh, these are the files which are we are using in this particular project fine so you have to give the proper name for each file and if i go to default you can see this is a welcome screen so here you can see that there is a mac address you want to read the mac address to know the mac address we are using the button here so therefore this is uh, optional actually but anyhow, we required a Mac ID so of the particular system. Then here I'll show you like how to how to read that one. So in order to read the Mac ID, you need to add up a using system dot management namespace. So in this namespace, uh, we have an object. So using that, we can able to read the Mac ID. So what you have to do is management class is equal to Win32 network adapter configuration, and then you need to create the instance of it. From the instance, you need to read all the instances. Then you have to check whether IP enabled is true or false. If if not, you can continue. If it's true, then you can look, look come out of this if statement, and then you can assign the value to the text box one dot text. So here you can get the MAC ID. The same MAC ID will be shown in the text box one, right? So let me run and show you. So click run button to run the project. So you can see that the project is running now. So there is a top picture, there is a bottom picture, and here is some text. So you add up more text or more pictures in the first page as for your recommend. So you can continue from here. So here is admin login. So I'll just go to admin, then admin to login here. So I shall show in the list. So these are the options. So if you go to list, you can see that two things you can create: inspector and the writer. So you want more destinations to be created, we can always create by clicking on this. So we need to type the destination name here. So you can say sub inspector. So when you click save, okay, record saved. Now if you go to list, you can see that sub inspector order has entered. It will be there here. Next is the police detail. So if you go to list, we already created the two polices. 
So you can create more by clicking on the policy details. So here you need to select what is the designation. Then login type, whether it is a policy, whether it is a writer. So therefore two different logins are available. So in the login type, you need to select whether it is a writer or is a police. Then allocate MAC ID. So I'll just show you the MAC ID. So here if you click on MAC address, you can see that this system MAC ID will be shown here. Like. Fine. So same has to be allocated. So not allocate, you need to allocate in the, uh, you can allocate from here also or you can go to directly database, you can allocate. So allocate MAC ID, you need to give the employee code here and then the corresponding ID, then you have to save this one. So once you save, the allocator, allocations will be done. Okay, so these are the options in the admin. Now we can go to as a writer, so then we can see that what are the options available for the writer. So I'll copy the main address, so then I go to one more tab and press enter key. So here you can continue. So you can go as a writer login. So here W1001 and then password. So login, you can able to login here. So now here is a case type. So what are the types of cases you can do? Then case details, okay. So you can see that uh, case type, case number and here is a criminal case. So what is the heading or what is the subject? So that you need to write here. So it's a criminal case. So therefore, uh, you can write the complete details of the case here. So what is the case detail? When is this happen? Persons involved in this. Fine. So now we can write the heading. Okay. So let's say man handled. So this is man handled by the. A bike a rider so bike okay so that rider so on uh, nh 45 at 9 a.m so place and time you need to write 23rd of feb 23rd of February 2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2019-2